you know, we, you know, there were talks and we had opportunities to potentially. I, that doesn't worry me that much. I mean, because again, we're we're active. We've got assets that you know can get into the late first. We've always had a good history of either you know buying in or trading in. So um, you know that doesn't you know that that doesn't really bother me that much. But uh, you know we're, we're protected one through twenty, and that's you know usually where the heavy hitters are. So uh, we're in good shape going forward, I think. Did you save as much money as you would like heading into free agency? Yes, yes, we did. What was the deciding factor to trade Jared? It was really more of a financial situation than anything else. And again, it's you know it's the nature of our business, and sometimes you've got to um, clear the decks, and um, that was you know in mind when we made that deal. What role does Nick Calentis play now heading into the summer? We're in uh, communication with uh, his people. He came in here last week, as was uh, reported, and um, you know we're we're talking to him about uh, his potential um, here, or uh, if it's not a fit, then maybe to work uh, closely with his agent, who's um, we've got a real good history with, that uh, we can get him to a situation uh, elsewhere where you know he can step in and play because he does he does belong in the league. The other guy, Joe. Yeah, uh, the other point guard that you've been looking at. Oh, um, can't talk about that guy. How <laughs> <laughs> uh, you guys essentially gave up this year's second rounder to get rid of last year's first rounder? How do you explain that to fans who don't study the CPA and you know geek out with the calculators on the salary cap? Okay, so Tim, I've had like 50 Irish coffees, man. <laughs> Bear with me, it's 11.30. You threw in 44 to dump Cunningham, your first round pick last year. Okay. How, how do you explain that to fans who, you know, they don't study the CPA, they don't, you know, have a calculator or checking out salary cap numbers on a consistent basis? Okay, so uh, one more time. It was, we, we, we did what? <laughs> Okay, yeah, let's move on. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, uh, it's been a long. Time. I think that's kind of what fans. No, I want. To, I want. To, I want to address it. I'm just trying no, to. No, I'm just saying it. you you threw in you you got rid of this year's second rounder to get rid of Cunningham. So if you're a fan, you're saying they just. Oh, I understand. I understand. Down. Yes, I get it. Okay, I understand. Um, I'll answer this way. Is is again. Um, the financial piece of it uh, is pretty critical uh, at this at this juncture, and it's more of a timing situation than anything else. We've got to, um, you know, go in uh, to the off season with um, with the uh, the decks clear and clean, and and it was more of, of that than anything else. And and again, we uh, we feel like uh, we got a pretty good you know young player. Um, second round that I can't talk about right now.